Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the notes on natural logarithms. At the end of this, you should be able to say, I understand natural logarithms and I can use them to evaluate problems. Okay? The natural logarithm of a positive number is the power that E must be raised to in order to get that number. Okay? So, for example, if you got ln 13, um, that means E to the 2.56 equals 13. So e to the 2.56 equals 13. Okay, so when you see uh, ln of 13, again, that's e to what power gives us 13, and this 2.56 is this x piece. So e to the 2.56 gives us 13. Okay, um, let me erase that so that we can get the other info in here. Okay, E is 2.71828, da, da 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 It is used in various growth problems for, like, say, population, uh, um, financial uh, problems as well. Um, also a lot in physics and engineering, okay? So it's a, it's a growth, it, it's used a lot for growth rates, okay? Now, these are two pretty key little formulas here that you can use. It's going to come in handy later on in this. So natural log of e to the x power is going to be what x is. And also you can find x by um, doing e to the, the power of natural log x. Okay, so you can use either one of those things. Okay, so find natural log of e to the 6. So this is just going to be all, like this will be probably easiest, just covered on our calculator here. Okay. So we're going to just, so natural log is this one right here. It looks like n, but that's ln. So there's our ln, natural log. And then we're going to do second e to the, and then sixth power. And then we simply hit enter. And we get, oops, and we get 6. Okay. So <clears throat> the idea behind that is we can actually use these formulas here instead, right? Because um, natural log of e to the x equals x. So really, natural log e to the 6 is just, this 6 is just going to go right there. But we're showing that we can also do that on the calculator. All right. Natural log of 1 over e squared. Now we can rewrite this. We'll keep the ln here and we can rewrite this 1 over e squared. We can move that e squared up to the top and it turns into e to the negative second. So now that it's in that form, look, ln e to the power there is going to equal whatever that power number is. So this will just give us simply negative 2. Okay, and then we got e ln x e times 3 to the ln x equals, um, sorry, natural log of 2. So e to the 3 times ln 2. Now, this is a little different. This doesn't quite fit into this here. So what we want to do is we're going to just rewrite this as e to the, we're going to just change the order of this. So natural log 2 all times 3. So the only thing I did is really just move this 3 out here. Okay, so now we have e to the ln natural log of 2. So here's e to the natural log of 2. So that means that this is going to equal 2, right? So this is going to equal 2. Um, but now we have that 3 out here. So it's really going to be 2 to the third power. So this is going to equal 8. And just to help out here, we can also do this on our calculator. So we can do... E, we want to do e to the x, so we do second, and then this ln, so that gives us e to the, and then we can do 3, um, and then we can simply just do ln 2. So there's 3 times natural log of 2. We push enter, and we get 8. Okay, so we are good on this here. So this equals 8. This equals negative 2. Okay. All right, next example, 
Um, use your calculator to find, correct to three decimal places, ln of 17. And just so you know, this is the same thing as log base e of 17. So really what this is asking us is e to what power gives us 17, right? So if we do that on our handy dandy calculator, we will simply just do ln of 17. And that gives us 2.8, let's see, three decimal places, I think it said, right? Yep. 2.833, excuse me. <laughs> so x equals 2.833 here. So equals 2.833. Okay. So that means e to the 2.833 should give us 17. Okay. So if we pull up our calculator again here, we can do... Just to show you that this works, we do e to the, and instead of entering our rounded off number, I'm going to actually enter this number back in just to show you that it uh, works. So I'm going to do second answer. So it's going to put this 2.8332133444 in there, and guess what? We get 17 back. Okay. All right, natural log of 0 0.08. So we just simply do natural log 0 0.08 and we get negative 2.526. Negative 2.52, uh, I already forgot. <laughs> 526. Is that right? Yeah, because the 5 gets rounded. Sorry. Okay. And then natural log of 10,000. So natural log 10,000 equals 9.210. Okay. All right, so that's just simply entering stuff into your calculator. We have one last example, but before we do that, let's do a quick little comedy break. I'm, not, I'm old myself, I get it, man. <laughs> I can prove it to you. This is how I know I'm old, okay? This is how you know when you're old. If, you, if, you don't, if you're on the cusp and you don't know if you're old or not, this is how you know. If you fall and no one laughs, <laughs> you are old. <laughs> That's how I know I'm old. It happened to me. I failed. Everybody, oh, sir, you okay, man? You, 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 get off me. <laughs> I'm an athlete. Move. <laughs> I play college ball. Get off me. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Last quick example here. We've got example 13. Use your calculator to write the following in the form E to the K, where K is correct to four decimal places. Okay. So we got 38. Okay. So X... <clears throat> we want to write this in e to the k form, so we're going to use this one over here, right? So if this is our x, 38 is x, we get, that's the same thing as e to the ln of 38, right? <clears throat> and there we go. So really it's it says e to the k power. So all we have to do really is figure out what the natural log of 38 is. Okay, so we just do natural log 38 and we get 3.63 how many de four decimal places? I'm never going to remember that. 3.6376. So e to the 3.6376 Six. I'm trying to remember if that's right. 3.6376. Yes, I got it right. I remembered. Okay. <clears throat> so we rewrote it in the form e to the k power. Okay. Same thing with this one here. This is going to be e to the natural log of 0 0.03. So same idea. We're just going to find the natural log of 0 0.03, and we get, <clears throat> excuse me, negative 3.5066, negative 3.5066. Oh, I already forgot. 5066, 5066. 
six, and we are done with both of those. Okay, um, that's all we have for the natural logarithms notes. If you have any further questions at all, please feel free to ask. Thanks.